What's good? What's good? We are back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast, a.k.a. Triple P, a.k.a. The Common Sense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much more. Today, I'm going to react to um, Charlemagne exposed for saying exactly what Kanye said. For all the those who don't know who Charlemagne is, is Charlemagne the guy from The Breakfast Club. And before we get into that, let's give you a word from one of our sponsors. When I go out for a good time, my favorite choice to drink is Dizzle. The question is, do you Dizzle? That's right. Do you Dizzle? Yes, I Dizzle. You could Dizzle too. Dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave tequila, French cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Just throw your Dizzle on ice and it's nice. If you want to order your very own bottle or bottles of Dizzle premium luxury liqueur, just go to DizzleBrand.com. Click on our locations. Click on one of the top three website links. I recommend Emilio's Beverage. Must be 21 and over and shipping and handling is included. Below that is locations in California, Oklahoma, Kansas, in Arkansas, working on coming to new cities and new states soon. And you can also get the hats, the t-shirts, dizzlebrand.com. Click on the shop and they got hoodies and sweatshirts as well. Um, so let's get into this. I haven't actually watched this video yet. Because there's Jewish owners and Jewish CEOs. They run these labels. <laughs> They're the bosses. That's why. I'm jealous of the fact of how they do business together. I'm jealous of the fact of how they read their contracts and understand their contracts. I'm jealous of the fact. I'm jealous of the way uh, Jewish people do business. And I'm jealous, not just for me, but for our entire culture. You attack black people and Jewish people within the span of a week, then you are indeed a Nazi. Charlemagne is a hypocrite. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get all the cool merch in the description section. Ladies and gentlemen, $5 shirts and $10 hoodies right there available for you. Our featured item uh, for this week is uh, Born to be Free. It's the coldest. I, my wife loves this design. I can't say nothing about it. I think my wife is on point. She is the designer in the family, and she believes this is the greatest design we have. Also, if you like the hoodie that I'm wearing right now, it's very simple. Go to men's, go down to hoodies, and then you'll see all of our brand new hoodies right here available for you. And I will say that this is the softest hoodie that I have ever worn. This is the softest hoodie. And you can get it for $45 is mind-blowing to me. However, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live or make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlemagne the God is the biggest hypocrite on planet Earth. These, I, I just, I, I want to go back to this, and this is going to be a short video. You don't have to watch it long. These people have no spine. They pump their chest up like they real, oh, I'm, I'm a stand-up dude. I'm, I'm a real individual. I'm calling out people for doing stuff. Like, bruh, you need to explain this. You came out against Ye, whether you like him or not, bruh, whether you believe what he said is right or not, you came out against Ye. And we're going to play the video. I'm going to play the video of him coming out against Ye first. You can click over to the next video. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I want y'all to hear what he said about Ye first. And then I'm going to play him saying exactly what Ye said. But explain to me why bro ain't got no spine. At, at the moment of pressure, these, these brothers will turn on each other and talk trash about their brother to the left and lie and be manipulative because they cowards. Even though he believes exactly what Ye said, he, he, he believes in almost every concept that Ye was talking about, but yet he want to say everybody else is scared of the white man and all this. Thing. You, bro, you, 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 you a pawn. You be in control 100%. Wrote a clip. Is oh, this an excuse for bigotry? You know? No. I don't think so. And I, I, I know a lot of people who suffer from mental health issues who, who don't maneuver like that. And also, you're a multi-billionaire. If you know you have mental health issues, go get help. 
simple as that. Like if you you got you got access to every single resource available, go get help. But once again, that doesn't give you the right to be a bigot. You know, I'm sure there was a lot of Nazis with mental health issues. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's don't that don't excuse you know them being Nazis. And you know, if you attack black people and Jewish people within the span of a week, then you are indeed a Nazi to me. You know, so I don't. You know, I, All right, go to the clip of Charlemagne saying exactly what Ye said. You can't speak bad about a Jewish person because they have organizations and they're a close knit group of people in power who will bring you down. Same thing with gays. You can't say nothing bad about gays because they move as a unit. Black people don't have that. Like, like, like Jews don't go out and try to uh, recruit people into the religion like, you know, certain Christians and, mm -hmm. and Muslims. And stuff. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even feel comfortable talking about this. I'm sweating right now. I listen, <laughs> I, listen, I, listen, I, listen, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Let me stop real quick. Um, sounds like the same to me, same thing to me. And Vlad threw something in there at the end where he said, Jewish people don't go try to recruit people to the religion like Christians and Muslims do. He's right. He's facts. That's facts. Um, but let's keep it moving. Thing, there's certain things I don't like to talk about and I love Jewish people. But they're powerful. I don't want them to misconstrue anything I'm saying or take anything I'm saying the wrong way. So I would much rather not even have this conversation. I have a lot of great Jewish people in my corner. I have a Jewish I have a Jewish conglomerate. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You know why there's not a lot of Jewish rappers? Because there's Jewish owners and Jewish CEOs. They run these labels. <laughs> They're the bosses. That's why hey, some somebody somebody please come nine one one. Tell me he didn't say exactly what Ye said. Pretty much. He he even alluded to he's afraid to talk about it or get what he said misconstrued because what? He believes they will collaborate together to cancel him. The same fear and theology that Ye had expressed, so does Charlemagne. Whether you agree with it or not, I'm not here to endorse any opinions. All I'm saying is, bruh, if you come out and claim that Ye got a mental illness, and you're out here acting like he crazy. You called him a Nazi. And you believe the same thing he believes. Let me just give y'all some insight because. Hold on. Let me let me stop before he gives you this insight. It's something also that Charlemagne said that I just thought about where he said, you got all this money and resources. You need and you got mental health issues. Then go get help. Sometimes people, the mental health people can't go get the help themselves. They need somebody to bring the help to them. They need somebody to reach out and pull them in to help them. You know, everybody's not, you know, Charlemagne, pump the, let's pump the brakes. Everybody's not as mentally strong as you. You know, they can't always just go and, and have the courage to go get help. Some people are afraid to um, face their problems. They really are. Let's keep it moving. Like It's like a tad bit left. Just a tad bit left. Let me just give y'all some insight because black folks, they get mad at me because they don't want me telling the truth in front of white people. That's their, the, you you ain't got to say that in front of white people. Your whole audience is white. It's like, shut the front door. I guess First of me. all, this is not a unique sentiment between black and Jewish people. This is not unique. Like, I grew up hearing things like this. I grew up hearing things about the music industry. Everybody knows that there's a lot of people that in the music industry that own record labels who are Jewish. Now, whether you think they conspire against people, that's up to you to, to, to articulate. However, there's a facts. Rappers been talking about it forever. Ice Cube in one of his songs made mention to the same theology and ideology. And Charlemagne believes it. Ye believes it. Uh, half of the rappers believe it. But they don't want to say it because they're afraid to get canceled. Okay. Okay. I'm going to leave it alone. But I just wanted to make sure that the world knew that Charlemagne is a hypocrite for coming out and calling Ye a Nazi, and he said the same thing that Ye said. He believed the same concepts Ye believed. So as a hip-hop artist, um, he's right. 
Officer Tatum's right. I've heard this a lot. Um, artists saying the labels are oppressing them, um, appropriating, cultural appropriating, all types of things, um, jerking them over on contracts. And yes, there's a lot of Jewish in the music industry um, and whatnot. So, yeah, that's not uncommon. It's more common than the cold to that I've heard artists say that. But now we're in a um, time where they are literally censoring and canceling people for... Um, you know, statements and words. I actually had a client that paid me for music promotion and they had a lyric video that we were setting up a YouTube ad for and YouTube disapproved the ad. They they said something about sensitive topics and I'm guessing based on listening to the song, there was a um there was something in the song about COVID, like people dying from COVID and things of that nature. Cause this artist is actually, um, Afro pop artist, um, African music artist. And, uh, they were saying something about, you know, people dying from COVID in Africa and whatnot. And I'm guessing that's the line that made them say, Oh, you know, we got to disapprove this ad. And it's really bogus. Cause it wasn't, you know, I understand they, they are sensitive about COVID information or misinformation as they call it but um it this wasn't that this was just saying stating the facts people have died from covid in africa and other countries across the world at that so yeah these people are afraid to be canceled afraid to be censored afraid to lose um their money backing you know and that's the thing like money's always going to divide people, then you can never be unified. If money is always going to be the driving force of dividing people, dividing cultures, dividing races, dividing countries, dividing um, politics, you know, whatever it may be, man. But, um, yeah, Charlemagne, I mean, I, I agree with him sometimes but on this one yeah he's he's looking hypocritical he's just he said himself he don't want to broach the topic and he should have broached it period then if that was the case he should have been like um no comment and kept it moving you know and vlad would have been like okay you know what i'm saying vlad would have understood and whatnot but uh and vlad vlad's point was um on on the money too like is christians and islam that's uh, really trying to convert people over to their religions. And I've never seen Jewish people walking down the street or knocking on your door with pamphlets or anything of that, or not even Amish or, or whatever, you know? So, yep. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. Paul Pickett Podcast, and I'm out.